Hey gang, Captain Mike Anderson here with Real Animals TV and Radio. I'm back at TA Mahoney Company. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about anchors. You know, if you're like me and you're running a bay boat or maybe a smaller offshore boat of some kind, you probably got a spot lock trolling motor on your boat of some kind, you know, motor guide, Minn Kota, Rodan, whatever it is. But, you know, when I'm offshore or I'm in deep water, even when I'm catching bait at the bridge, you know, I hit my anchor mode on my trolling motor and I pretty much don't use my regular anchor much anymore. But I still have an anchor in my boat and I know that a lot of you do. Uh, you know, trolling motors can be a little unreliable. So you could get out there and your trolling motor doesn't work and now you got to throw the anchor. So I'm going to walk you through what I consider to be the best anchor on the market. Now, these guys aren't a sponsor of mine. I buy these anchors just like you would have to buy them. I just think it's kind of a neat thing to hear about. So these are Sea Claw anchors, all right? I'll kind of pick this one up and show it to you. This is the kind of style anchor that I like. It's kind of got a, it's got a hole on this end, hole on this end, and I'll show you why that's so important. These forks dig in really good rock, sand, really doesn't matter what your bottom is. This anchor holds up really well. It comes in three different sizes. Um, this one right here is the one that I have, big time overkill. Um, I'm just a big time anchor guy. I'd rather have too much anchor versus not enough. Now, something really important to remember, and I actually had to check with Mike Mahoney here at TA Mahoney Company, but the Coast Guard recommends you have five times the amount of rope out compared to the depth of water you're fishing in. So, you know, Mahoney said they, they recommend three um, and hopefully you won't be out in really bad conditions where you would need that five times the rope out. But just something to think about when you're buying your anchor. And again, T Mahoney Company is a great place to do that. They've got a selection of other types of anchors as well. I just believe in the sea claws. I've been using them probably for, 15 to 20 years now and it's just to me the best anchor on the market one of the neat things about this anchor is you know how many times and it's happened to everybody if you've been out on the water somewhere you get rocked up with your expensive anchor and you just can't get it unstuck and you end up leaving your anchor there terrible feeling anchors aren't cheap as we know so i'll show you what's cool about this anchor remember i said there's a hole on the front and there's a hole on the back you kind of see the way we've set this up with the chain i highly recommend a couple of feet of chain depending on how deep you run i think i've got uh, maybe three foot of chain on my boat maybe a little less i know the offshore guys carry a lot bigger chain and a lot more of it it helps to lay this thing on the sea bottom and helps to increase that bite a little bit but what this plastic die tie does on this end here, if you get stuck, you can't pull your anchor up, what you can do is you can kind of get reverse and get up tied from it a little bit and you can actually break that plastic tie loose. And then what it'll do is it'll pull the anchor back out this way for you and actually save your expensive anchor from being lost on the bottom. It's just a really neat part of having one of these sea claw anchors. Like I said, they're not cheap. And sooner or later, you're going to stick it in something somewhere, you know, if the, it's like the Sunshine Sky where I'm, I'm constantly getting bait out there. There's all kinds of rubble from the old bridge down there. So you never know when you're going to hang this up in some rocks and you're going to have trouble getting it back. With this system right here, the way they can set it up for you at TA Mahoney Company, you'll get it back just about every single time. It saves you a bunch of money. The other thing that's important is if you're out there in that ripping tide and you're trying to catch bait, and let's say you don't have the spot lock on your boat. This anchor right here will get the job done. You have to have an anchor to where no matter what you're doing at that bridge, you can feel that you're locked in and secure. Take a look at Sea Claw anchors. Go buy your favorite marine hardware store. For me, it's TA Mahoney Company. For a lot of you, it can be as well here in the Tampa Bay area. Come by Mahoney's and ask them if your anchor's enough, if it'll do for you what you want it to do. These guys got great knowledge in marine hardware. They got all the tools to set you up with a Sea Claw anchor and get you anchored up perfectly on the water.